Welcome back to the James Ray Show. We need a name for the show, guys. We need a name for the show. A lot of you have been giving me some fun names for the show. Uh, so let me know, because I'm not going to call this Marvel Style. I think I'm going to start changing the name of these morning shows. But it's like, uh, this is my morning show, okay? It's my morning show. I come here every day. We're going to talk news. We're going to talk what's on my mind. We're going to talk a lot of art. That's what we're going to do every day, okay? We're going to do every day. And right now, uh, for those of you watching live on the stream... We are going to draw the Chiquita Banana Girl. So we just drew the Pillsbury Doughboy. Not very doughboy right now. Not very doughboy. But we're going to definitely draw the Chiquita Banana Girl now. We're going to draw the Chiquita Banana Girl. Okay. And uh, I, was telling, I was saying before that uh, I'm a big... I love bananas. Bananas are yummy. And mainly because uh, when I was growing up, uh, that was my dad's favorite dessert. My dad loves, after every meal, having a banana. He had to have a banana after every, every meal. That was, that was his thing. He absolutely loved eating bananas after every meal. So, so bananas turns, is one of my favorite foods just because of my dad. It reminds me a lot of uh, my dad, uh, because he loved eating bananas after every meal. So a meal wasn't complete without a banana. Like people, some people want pie. Some people want ice cream, but my dad always wanted a banana right after, right after a meal. Like, and Mario's there. Love Mario Ultimate Art. By the way, go subscribe to my buddy Mario. Uh, my buddy Mario always here every single morning uh, holding the fort in the live chat here. He goes, I love bananas. Very nutritional, rich in on calcium, 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 calcium. Good for muscle building. That's right. As you can, can see, I'm not eating enough bananas. There you go. I'm not eating enough bananas. Uh, but. With that, we were talking about the Streamy Awards, so uh, we're going to the next category here. And the next category is crossover. Now, this is a very controversial category because a lot of YouTubers feel that celebrities should stay in their lane, so to speak. They shouldn't be coming over to YouTube. They shouldn't be getting the success they have on YouTube. If it's a, to a lot of uh, YouTubers, they feel like some of these celebrities, when they go on YouTube, that um, that they're kind of cheating in a way, and it's not for them. You know, YouTube's not for them. It's a, it's a, it's cheating. When I don't think so. First of all, I think celebrities when they come onto YouTube or any of these platforms, they already earned their audience. They earned it. It's not like their audience just kind of happened. Like they they built that audience. Yes, on a different platform, but they built their own audience. It doesn't mean when you start a new platform, you should automatically start from zero. If I had a head start, I, I'd take it. Why not? Like, like uh, when the, I remember when Jack Black came onto YouTube and he got like a million subscribers in a day and everyone's complaining. I'm like, why? He earned that audience. That's from like 20 years of being in the entertainment business. He earned those people watching him and following him. Well, why can't he have that? Why can't he have that? That's, you know. So I, I don't see anything wrong because it's not as easy as it looks either, right? You don't think these celebrities don't think just because they're a celebrity that they're going to get an audience. So, um, like, you know, prime example of that, um, Captain Marvel, Brie Larson. Look at her channel. Like, she started off strong. She started off strong. But... Uh, But after a while, you go look at her views now. Not not very impressive. Like even The Rock. The Rock started off strong. But you look at his views now. Not that great. Not that great. So YouTube is a lot harder than it looks. Even, even for celebrities. Yes, they'll get a, the initial push. Because of their hard work in, in Hollywood. Or, or you know wherever they get their celebrity from. But at the same time. That doesn't mean they're going to be YouTube successful either. So it could be either or, right? So, but anyway. Anyway, going to go ahead and start drawing this uh, Chiquita Banana Lady. Well, we go ahead and talk about the next award on the streaming awards here. Uh, crossover. So the, the nominees for crossover. The nominees for crossover. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Speaking of uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Uh, Gordon Ramsay. Haley Bieber. 
Haley Bieber. Did they divorce? Did they separate? Did Haley and Justin separate? No, no. I, I think I'm thinking of somebody else. Doesn't matter. Uh, Lily Reinhardt, Camila Mendez, and Madeline Pet Petch. Blonde, brunette, redhead. I've never heard of them. Never heard of them. Before. And Post Malone. Post Malone. Uh, out of those, and we're talking about last year, like Gordon Ramsay, he, he's like a beast on social media. When you talk about guys who take social media seriously, I, I think Gordon Ramsay is one of those. He really takes it seriously. He really, really does. So out of those five, and again, I, I don't watch a lot of a lot of those guys. I, I'm going to go with, uh, with Gordon Ramsay. I'm going to definitely go with Gordon Ramsay. So let's go to the next category here. The next category. It's uh, first person. First person. So is this one I could win next year, guys? Is this one I could win next year? Uh, Arak Cor 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 Cortrezi? Uh, Gideon? Safia Ny Nygaard and yes, Theory. Safia Nygaard won before because I drew her before. I remember. Uh, I remember I drew her before. Uh, yes, Theory. I like Yes Theory a lot. Uh, I'm. I, I don't feel qualified to answer this one. I'm not too familiar with their work. I'll go Safia Nygaard just because my my daughter's a fan and I drew her before, so I'll go Safia Nygaard. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Just chatting. Now, this is this is one. This is one that I could win, guys. Just chatting. Uh, now, just chatting. That is, uh, you know, that's something on uh, Twitch, right? If I'm not mistaken, that's a category on Twitch. I I should be streaming on Twitch, guys. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I should be multi-streaming again. I haven't been multi-streaming in a while. Uh, but just chatting. Bruce, drop him off. Hassan, Abby, Kai, Sentat, Quackity, XQC. No idea. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother. Variety streamer. Okay. So people, this is, could be another one. This could be me, guys. I could win variety streamer. What do you think? Can I win variety streamer? So Asman Gold. Never heard of him. Lyric. Haven't heard of him. Luglig. I have. Voice critical. I have. Valkyrie. I have. You know what I think of with uh, Moist critical? I, I think of that uh, meme. Where it's like. That's what I think of voice critical. Uh, I don't know. Valkyrie again. Filipino. Woo, Filipino. Uh, Mario's heard of Asmongold. I, I haven't heard of the universe. VTubers are not even going to get into that. Not not, uh, not into the VTubers there. Podcast. Podcast. Okay, so this is another one I could win next year, guys. Another one. Podcaster of the year. I want to win Podcaster of the year. Uh, Call Her Daddy. Okay, that's a gigantic one. The H3 Podcast. Impulsive. Mr. Ballin Podcast, never heard of that. On Purpose with Jay Shetty. Out of all of those, I would say On Purpose is the most... Uh, I want On Purpose to win because I think it helps the most people. I think On Purpose actually helps the most people. So I'm going to go On Purpose with Jay Shetty, who I've met. Really nice guy. But I'm going On Purpose with Jay Shetty there. I'm On Purpose with Jay Shetty. Is that been good? How is Asmongold uh, tied to Tyrone Magnus Mario? You can tell me. Do they do a lot of stuff together? I know Tyrone Magnus. I'm not sure if you guys knew that. I, I did. I drew him as a superhero once before. Uh, Tyrone. Uh, so you can tell me. Tyrone is separate. Are they associated somehow? I was just wondering why you mentioned Tyra Magnus uh, with with uh, uh, with uh, the other person. No, they never clapped. Okay, okay. Just wondering why you you mentioned Tyra Magnus. Anyway, scripted series. Okay, this is an interesting category. This one I can't win. I can't win this one. But the uh, the nominees are Darman, In Space with Markiplier, Jack Pop. Never heard. Brandon Rogers. I drew Brandon Rogers before. He's a he's a comedian. And uh, he was one of the winners, I think, a couple uh, when, I, when I drew them. So he was one of the winners that I drew before. Um, though I never met him, but he started to follow me after um, uh, after the stream awards. He started to follow me afterwards. So I never met him, but uh, 
started following me. So thank you, Brandon. Ron He's one of the few creators who started following me after. Uh, so I'm going to go, yeah, Darman. I like watching Darman. Do you guys want to like watching Darman? I like watching Darman. Okay, next award, Unscripted Series, uh, Challenge Accepted, Chicken Shop Day. It's been a day with side talk. Uh, I'll go Challenge Accepted. I like that. Okay, here's, here's one, guys. Maybe you guys would know these guys. Animated. Animated category. You got Haminations, Iliamation, Jaden Animations, Ketnips, and Meat Canyon. Meat Canyon has some of the weirdest animated videos I've ever seen in my life. Have you guys watched Meat Canyon? Don't watch Meat Canyon. That, that's some of the, the weirdest things I've ever seen on YouTube. They do the weirdest things. I don't want them to win because it's so weird. If any of you have seen a Meat Canyon video. So weird. Like, I, I can't stop watching it, but it's so weird. I, I don't want them to win. <laughs> no, stop. Meat Canyon, stop. Jaden Animations. Uh, I, you know, I, I've never met her. But, you know, she's associated with a lot of friends of mine, like, of course, the Liquid Jazza and um, Odd Ones Out. So, so uh, I'll, I'll go with uh, Jaden Animations here. I'll go with Jaden Animations. Now, I never drew the winners of the animation category because the animation category never makes the show. Never makes the show. So, yeah. Beauty, we'll just uh, skip over that. I'm not going to bother. Comedy. Uh, I'll skip over that. Oh, call me Chris is there. I'll go call me Chris. Commentary. Get a, uh, commentary. The only one I know in commentary is Legal Eagle. I like Illegal Eagle. Competitive Gamer. I don't know anybody. Dance. Um, dance. The only two I know here is, well, Alona Bennard. I've, I've seen her. Matt Stefanina won before. I drew Matt Stefanina before. Michael Lee is a TikTok dancer. Whatever. <laughs> Fashion and style. Whatever. Food. Okay, food. Now, you guys know I like the food. Maybe you guys know these guys in food. We have here Babish Culinary Universe. That's right. Uh, Binging with Babish changed the name of his uh, changed the name of his um, channel to ba Babish Culinary Universe so that he could have other hosts. Very smart. Very smart. He drew the other hosts. He has other hosts coming uh, onto his channel. So, um, so Babish Culinary Universe cooking with Linja. I don't know who that is. Nick Giovanni. I see his TikToks all the time. Sideshow Cake Studios, never heard of him. Uncle Roger! You guys like Uncle Roger? You guys like Uncle Roger? Emotional damage. Oh, no, that's not Uncle Roger. I'm sorry. Is that just racist? <laughs> that's not Uncle Roger. <laughs> Who does the, who's the emotional damage guy? Who's, who's that guy? This guy? I'm sorry, that's not Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger's different. I'm sorry. Um, who is the, uh, is that Stephen, Stephen He, right? Isn't Stephen He? Yes, I, I was about to say Stephen He. I was about to say Stephen He. There, that's right. Sorry. My, my apologies, everyone. My apologies. My apologies. We're just going to gloss over that, my friends, right now. We're going to keep moving on. <laughs> but I do like Uncle Rogers more. Hiya. Uncle Rogers more. Hiya. So, but both I watch. Both I watch. Uh, gamer. Let's move on. Gamer. Uh, uh, Pamo. Don't know. Dream. Laser. Laser beam. Markiplier. Tommy. I. I like Markiplier. Uh, I like Markiplier's voice. How many would you would love Markip Markiplier's voice? I would love Markiplier's voice. Markiplier. Uh, so I'll go Markiplier. Health and Wellness. Austin Alexander, Blogilates, Dr. Mike, Dr. Julie, the fitness marshal. The only one that kind of knows uh, Dr. Mike. Here's one I could win, guys. Kids and family. Here's one I could win. Uh, haven't heard of any of these guys. So I guess I'm going to win by default. I don't know any of these guys. Learning and Education. The only ones I know. Well, Veritasium I've seen before. Colin Samir. Guys, if you want to learn what's in the creator community, I think Colin Samir is one of the top podcasts out there right now. Listen to Colin and Samir, guys. Uh, I think if you're trying to be creator, uh, Colin and Samir, they're, they're really great to listen to. I learned, I've learned a lot from them. So uh, definitely watch them. 
Got life. Like I'm getting tired of these uh, things. Uh, I'm 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 just scanning down. I'm just scanning down these things, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just scanning down, looking at things that uh, I'd be interested in. Visual and special effects. You guys know that's uh, me. Uh, some of these I haven't heard of before. So crispy media I've seen. Zach King and Corridor Crew. Happy Kelly, Butterside Down. I'll go with the OGs. Corridor Crew. Corridor Crew been doing YouTube forever. I'll go with the Corridor Crew. Now that's one of the, you know, the thing with Corridor Crew, guys. That, that's one of the things where their vlog channel surpassed their main channel. And that that's really weird to see sometimes that uh, you, you see that. But then, you know, when they start doing those React videos, when they started getting really into their personalities, that's when people start really relating to them. So good for them. That's fantastic. Uh, and then you get the brand and agencies. Who cares, right? Who cares? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm not even going to read the rest. I'm not going to read the rest. I, I know that's not interesting. So it's just uh, something interesting today to talk about, guys. Mainly because uh, I, I have history with the streaming awards so that's that's the only reason i really want to talk about it because the this i believe the streaming awards are today if i'm not mistaken i believe it's today uh the streaming awards so uh, good luck to all the winners uh will they have me back one day maybe as a nominee did you know guys you know to get nominated for the streaming awards they didn't do this this year but did you guys know for the stream did you know to get to these like web awards you actually have to pay you have to pay to be nominated. Did you guys know that? You had to pay. Like any of those web awards, you actually have to pay to be considered to be nominated. So you don't like just wake up one morning like, oh, I'm nominated. No, no, you have to apply to be nominated. But I believe this year was the first year because of the pandemic and everything. This was the first year that uh, they didn't do that. They didn't do that. They actually just said, okay, everybody can apply. For free this just for this year so but next year guys show of the year morning show of the year okay so let, let i'm gonna ask you guys again guys let me get, ask you guys again what uh oh and the hat's coming on look at that look at that hair look at that hair why do i need a beanie why do i need a beanie look at that look at that hair right there. i'm gonna ask you guys right now what should the name of my show be what should the name of my show be let me know while i go through your comments so again guys if you want now it's your turn, because that was, that was just something. There wasn't much news yesterday, so this is a, now your turn. If you want to ask me a question, you want me to answer a question, uh, go to the community chat. So once again, I am going to go show you guys the community chat, and then I'm going to start inking uh, the Chiquita girl here. Oops, that's not the community chat. This is the community chat right here. And uh, you could go ahead and put your drawing suggestions here and be a part of the show. Anything that I talked about today, if you want to comment on, please do. Once again, go to my channel here, go to the community tab right here, community tab, click on that, be a part of the show, okay? And click on that. And there's actually some questions from yesterday that I missed. So I want to go ahead and answer some of those. So for the first question here, okay, the Ray show, rumbling with Ray's. I, I, I like that a lot. I'm going to put a post up later on. Uh, remember these morning show ideas, guys, because uh, I'm going to definitely do that. Okay, Jordan James, can you draw Johnny Quest? Maybe, maybe for sure. Like anything's open game, guys, in terms of things I would like to draw in the mornings here. But what's actually more exciting for me is um, is talking with you guys every morning. That's actually more exciting for me. So maybe uh, the Limber Channel wants Danny Phantom in a Marvel style. You know, I, I've been meaning to try my hand at a lot of these Butch Hartman creations. Uh, you guys don't follow uh, Butch Hartman on on YouTube and on TikTok. You know, he, do, he does a great job. He really does. Uh, so, you know, collabing with Butch would be a lot of fun. For sure. So would I do Danny Phantom? Probably, and he'll probably react to it too. So we'll see. Amazing, the amazing rays. That's what Master Crawl. Amazing rays. There you go. Uh, from Moro Andres says, "Hi James, I watched your live One Piece drawing and it was great. K 
Can you draw Minecraft in a Marvel style, please? Well, more I've done that a few times. I've drawn... Um, actually, if you actually Google Minecraft in a Marvel style, you'll see a couple videos I did. So I drew Mar Minecraft in 10 different styles. I've done that before, and there is a Marvel style in that one. And I actually have a video called Drawing Minecraft in a Marvel style, which is actually a collab with uh, my friend that a lot of you guys know. His name is uh, Popcross Studios. Uh, that was a collab with, uh, with him. So he actually colored it. And it turned out great. And it actually, that video did very well for both of our channels. That was uh, one of those uh, collabs that actually did very well for both of us. So uh, please do check that out. Please do um, please do uh, check that out. Mario says, raise the pen. Raise the pen. There you go. Raise the pen. It's my morning show. My morning show. Next question here. Uh, James Jordan James says, can you draw Transformers Rise of the Beast? I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing something. Transformers eat. Now, um, I, I did tell you guys before, I'm waiting for a uh, Optimus Prime uh, statue. It's coming from the Philippines, okay? And it should be here soon, if I'm not mistaken. I, I actually think one of them's here, but it's uh, from, I, th I think it's from the Dark Side of the Moon movie. What's the, what's the uh, Transformers movie with Jetfire, guys? What's the Transformers movie with Jetfire? Well, anyway, uh, I actually got a big Optimus Prime and a Jetfire. And I think it would be a lot of fun to unbox this live on the show. We could unbox it, and then I'm going to draw it. You know, put it together, put the two uh, statues together, and then I'm going to go ahead and draw it. I, I think that would be a lot of fun to do. Okay, so maybe we'll be doing that sooner than later, because I believe it's coming soon, if, if not mistaken. It should have came at the end of the last month. I gotta go, I'm going to go message my brother-in-law today, because he, he got it for me. And... Uh, We'll see if I if I could go ahead and draw that. Okay. Uh, e Ed draws. You are good. Thank you. I want to be a better artist because of your videos. Always look forward to who or what you draw next. Thank you so much, my friend. And, and you guys suggested. Uh, so this was a suggestion by. I'll, I'll have to get their name earlier. I forgot their name earlier. But uh, they suggested the Kool Aid Man for me to draw, and then that got me thinking about the brands today. So. So that's why we are doing brands, because one of you guys suggested that I did the Kool-Aid Man today. So I was like, hey, that, that'd be a lot of fun. So now we're drawing all these brands today. So oh, there you go. Uh, so let's see if there's any more questions here. Okay, uh, news first. Okay, next question here. Uh, that one gamer. Imagine Star Wars characters in Marvel style, but you can make them have superpowers too. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm a little, um, I'm a little burnt out of Star Wars right now, if I can be honest with you guys. I'm a, I'm a very honest guy. Maybe that should be the name of my show. I'm going to be honest. James raises if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> if I can be honest with you guys, I'm a little burned out of Star Wars. A little burned out. Uh, maybe, like, I loved Andor. I thought Andor was fantastic. Wonderful show. I love Andor. Andor was great. Prime Star Wars. Andor. Andor. And, and, and again, to each his own. I know, I know some people didn't like it, and that's that's totally fine. If you didn't like it, you know, that, you know, you know uh, that, that's sad. That you weren't able to like it, you know, because, you know, I want people to like everything they watch. But if it didn't work for you, it didn't work for you. Uh, you know, like, for example, She-Hulk did not work for me at all. I did not like She-Hulk at all. But there are people who love She-Hulk. So, you know, teach his own. I'm not going to tell them that they're wrong. Uh, people who like She-Hulk, I'm not going to tell them they're wrong. They liked, they liked it. Wahoo. Yahoo. <laughs> yeah. They liked it. Yahoo. Yahoo. Uh, but in terms of Star Wars, like nothing really excites me, excite me anymore about Star Wars. So I liked Andor a lot, not not enough to draw it per se. Maybe also because it was too real. Like Andor is too real. It feels too real. There's nothing fantastical about Andor. Like it's very real world based, kind of. 
like of course the settings and everything they're not real of course there's aliens in there of course but the feel of the show it's just too real for me to draw so never know maybe with the mandalorian maybe with the when the mandalorian comes out i'll be i'll be more interested in uh doing uh another star wars piece but definitely not now not not right now so not today pet well uh, elijah i don't know ali alija says what pen do i use okay so right now i'm using a pink pigma brush pen right now as you can see here pigma brush pen i use microns uh i'm using a zero five zero zero five and a zero five right now micron uh but it varies i i use multiple different microns and again these are not the cheapest materials in the world for sure I get a lot of my materials from my friends at uh, Micron or at uh, Sakura. Uh, again, shout out to my buddy Wayne. Uh, they supply me my art supplies and I, I couldn't be happier uh, with working with them. So every chance I get to, to plug them, um, thank you so much to Sakura for, uh, for doing that for me. It's great. Uh, so let's see here. Okay. Yeah, Lillian, I'm not sure what that is, so I'm not going to uh, mention that. All right. Uh, when comics are off-brand. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Not sure. Okay, so I'm going to go to some of the comments from yesterday, guys. Uh, again, if you guys want to comment, please go to the community chat. But I know there were some comments I missed yesterday, so I will uh, go here to answer some of the comments from yesterday. From uh, Niraj. From Niraj. From Niraj and Nikhil. Hari Haran. You should draw Thanos or Venom with a cool background. Now, out of those two, they're, they're, I might be drawing a Venom sooner than later. We might be drawing a Venom sooner than later. I've been meaning to draw this Lego Venom that I have for the longest time. So, uh, so we'll see. So it's definitely a possibility. I probably won't do a Thanos for a while. Again, talk about played out. Like, a lot of the uh, end game stuff really played out for me. You know, I've been doing so many end game videos. You know, just no, no real interest, you know? Like, these days, I, when I draw something, I got to be interested in it. I have to be excited about it. And drawing something like this, this excites me. You know, th this is... Uh, you know, it's something different, something new. And, th and that's what I, I like to do. There you go. Uh, Chris McRae says, could you organize an upcoming thumbnail for your live drawings? I want to get involved in the chat, but I think we're in different, different time zones for sure. So I don't think uh, Chris is watching. But you would like a, a stream where I just do thumbnails. And that could be interesting. That could be very interesting uh, education. Maybe. Maybe one day. And I'll show you guys my thumbnail process for sure. I actually have two videos coming out soon, guys. I have two videos that are that are completely edited, but I'm trying to um, I'm trying to bulk them. I'm, I'm trying to to um, what's it called? I am trying to uh, bank them. That's that's the word I was looking for. I was trying to bank them because you know I want to make sure if once I start posting full videos again, that I'm not going to lose. Uh, you know. I'm going to keep the schedule, okay? And again, like these days, maybe compared to like uh, five years ago, schedule doesn't matter as much as it used to. Like a good video is a good video. If it's a good video, YouTube will share it. But it doesn't hurt to have things coming out on a regular schedule for sure. So I do have a, a few videos ready to go. Uh, I think two videos that are ready to go. But I would like to get another two in the tank before I start releasing them. So I know how fast... I can release them. Uh, my buddy uh, Thomas, as you guys know, my buddy Thomas, uh, I hired him to color a lot of this artwork that you see, and he's he's doing a bang up job. He always does. He's a fantastic color color artist, uh, Thomas. So excited, super excited to, for you guys to see the work that he's done with a lot of these uh, morning pieces here. So, so we'll see, we'll see how that goes. All right. So, but that's a great uh, question there, friend. That's a great uh, suggestion. 
could do a stream where I just work on thumbnails. So. Because again, it's one of the most important thing, guys. Thumbnails to your videos. Though, at the same time, like I'm doing a lot of, you know, I, I do a lot of YouTube research every single day. Uh, and thumbnails, of course, very, very important. Still one of the most important things. If not the most important part of your video is the thumbnail. But now, more than your thumbnail now, uh, the first five seconds of your video is even more important than it was. We Like we always knew the first five seconds of your video is important. But now, even more so, because what happens is, you guys notice on your phone, when, you, uh, when you're when you scrolling, if you actually stop on a video, it automatically plays. Do you notice that? It doesn't stay on the thumbnail. It automatically starts playing the video. So what that means, guys, is your first five to ten seconds, they're the most important part of your video. You got to hook them. Even before they click the video now, they see the first five to ten seconds, even if not less than that. So even in the first second of your video, you need to, you really need to intrigue your viewer. First second of your video, first second or two of your video, before they click off, before they click off or just scroll by. So definitely something to think about, guys. Definitely something to think about. Uh, Elijah, here, uh, Kern Emmanuel says, Coco Pops mascot. In a Marvel song. Did I do the Coco Pop? I, I think I did that already. Because it was funny though, guys. A lot of you guys don't read. <laughs> I will admit. Some of you guys don't read because I specifically said. I specifically said. Don't put any food. Ma uh, don't put any. Uh, fast food mascots. In there. And then later on, I also put cereal mascots. But then uh, some of you still put a lot of fast food. Mascots in there. <laughs> Because I've done fast food mascots. I've done cereal mascots. So th that's why. Uh, not saying I won't do those again. Because, you know, I've, I've done... You know, if something works on YouTube, guys, you, you keep doing it. You keep doing it until it doesn't work. That's the way you're supposed to do it. But uh, I probably won't do those for a while. So you're not going to see me doing, like, a Ron McDonald or Jolly BB or anything like that for this piece, guys. It's just pretty much brand mascots. That's what I'm doing here. Okay, so... I lost the chat, guys. I lost it for a while. Apologies. There you go. Venomized Captain America, for sure. Right. Comic Book Bob likes Rise and Shine. Raise and Shine. I like that too, my friend. I like that too. Raise and Shine. This is my morning show. Now, Again, Marvel style adds, you know, when I call it Marvel style, it does add uh, discoverability to the show. So I probably will leave that name on for a little bit until I get a little bit more of a viewership on the show. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is the suggestion thread. I was looking at the wrong thread. Right, so let me, let me just go back. Gonna, there's another thread here. Let me just go to that. Okay, here it is. Here it is. From uh, James Swanick says, can you draw Black Panther suits in full color? I, I was actually thinking about doing that before, guys. Uh, when Black Panther came out, I was thinking about doing 100 Black Panther suits uh, when the movie came out. But then, uh, you know, time got away from me. Then I had to let go of my staff. And those are very hard videos to pull off by myself. So I opted uh, not to do that. Not to do that. And I think the time has come and gone for me to do that. So not saying that I won't do that eventually in the future. It's, it is a good possibility I could be doing 100 Black Panthers in uh, in um, in a thousand minutes. Uh, but maybe. Maybe. Uh, Sketcher Comics would like to see me draw a Wednesday TV show poster. I think a few of you. Actually, wanted me to see me do a Wednesday TV show poster. That 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 show caught a lot of fire. It did. We talked about that earlier. 
It's catching fire, that show. Uh, you know, apparently it's more popular than Stranger Things. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thought uh, Wednesday would be more popular than, than Stranger Things? Or it's got more watch time than Stranger Things. So I thought that was very, very interesting. So you never know. Maybe. Maybe. If a lot of you guys want me to do Wednesday one. Maybe. So... You guys watch uh, Wednesday? Do you guys watch Wednesday? Uh, box office artist, or so box office high five micron art and set. Oh, for brand, for uh, for products. There you go. Now it comes with a razor. There you go. And now it comes with a razor. There you go. You're doing my own commercial for me, my friend. So, always wanted to be on the radio, guys. I, I got the face for radio, as we say. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wednesday Adams. Yes, Elijah. That's that's new on Netflix. Yep. More popular than Stranger Things. Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk that? More popular than Stranger Things. There you go. Uh, let's see here. Next question from... From uh, Deck... Deck Does Stuff. That's a cool name. Thank you, Mr. Deck Does Stuff. He goes, what's your favorite piece of art you've ever made? A common question I do get, uh, favorite pieces of art I ever made. Uh, common answers, of course. Like, I'll give the common answers, and then I'll give some answers that I haven't mentioned before that I really, really like. Uh, of course, my, the ones with my kids, especially the ones where they're all together. Uh, the one I did for my church, again, I did a, a piece for their 100th year anniversary. It was one of the first murals I've done. Uh, the Star Wars mural, the first Star Wars mural I love because that started this whole YouTube journey. Uh, a piece that I love is the original Transformers mural, 600 characters. Uh, Transformers murals that I did way back in the day, some well, way before some of you were born. This was in uh, 2002, I think I, I think I did it, 2002. Uh, what else? Uh, Star uh, S Stargate. I did the Stargate piece, tribute piece, with all the Atlantis and regular characters on it before that the, the cast and crew actually signed. Uh, and the showrunners still talk about to this day. So... That was uh that was an important piece in my career that I, that I still love. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, the Metroplex, the very first most detailed drawing ever. A lot of those, a lot of those most detailed drawing ever, I put a lot of effort and love into them. A lot of them. So I would say a, a quite a bit of them, I have an affinity for. So the U Unicron one, the uh, Voltron one. Uh, I'd say those ones especially. Maybe the Devastator one. But if I have to choose, that's not my favorite one. I don't like how I drew the arm in that Devastator one. I covered it with smoke. If you look very carefully, I actually covered it with smoke. Uh, so it all depends. It all it all depends. But th those are some off the top of my head that I absolutely uh, love. Uh, you know, quite a lot of them. But... Those are some of my favorites. What's one of your favorites? What are your favorite pieces that I've done? I'd, li I'd like to know that. And let me know what, what uh, pieces would you like me to do more of? I would like to know as well. Let me know. Let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know in the live chat. What are some of uh, my favorite pieces or one of uh, your favorite pieces that I've done? Let me know in the live chat there, guys. Okay. Well, I go ahead and finish drawing these bananas here. What time is it now? It's 7 o'clock. I, I think I have time for one more here, guys. We're going to do one more character. And again, we might stop the stream and do one more stream. Because I, I do like to keep these characters separate. But we'll see. The Stan Lee tribute. Yes, that's a good, that's a good one. Here, Kurt, Kurt, that's one of my favorite pieces for sure. Uh, that was the first time I recreated covers. 
Like a lot of you guys uh, have suggested that maybe I should do a lot more cover recreation, like old school cover recreation, but do my own spin on it. That's not a bad thing to do. That'd be a fun, uh, like a one stream thing where I would just go in and recreate covers. It's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Uh, I could come in and do like some old classic Marvel and DC covers, but just do them in my style or do my take on them. It's not a bad idea at all. Not a bad idea at all. Okay, guys. So we're going to go ahead and end this stream right now, guys. We're going to do one more. One more stream. We're going to do one more character here for today. And we're going to add more to this tomorrow. And possibly the next day. Like, if I'm having fun, we're going to do more. Okay? But for now... That's the Chiquita Banana Girl there. Uh, let me just erase a little bit. Doesn't hurt anybody. So again, guys, uh, put your comments and questions in there. So this is the brand Avengers, guys. The brand Avengers. There you go. All right. All right. All right. So thank you guys for watching uh, this stream. We're going to do one more today. One more today. Uh, I do have a hard out at 8 o'clock. So we only got an hour for the next one. But the next one's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of you guys suggested this in the chat. We are going to be doing the Pringles dude. Okay? We're going to be doing the Pringles guy. Uh, a lot of you don't maybe not know who the Pringles guy is. But we're going to do the Pringles guy right over here. Okay? So that's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, guys? Stay tuned. I'm going to be right back, and we're going to go ahead and draw the Pringles guy. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you very shortly. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.